Okay, so, you know, Block Entertainment, Block, and shout out to Block, um, Russell Spencer, good brother. Mm-hmm. How did you connect with him? Did you know him before this whole hip hop thing? Did you meet him through you wanting to become an artist or a writer? Like, what was you? What is your connection? Um, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't know him before. Um, you know, I didn't know him before. Uh, I knew he had he had motion, and I was at the stage where I was writing records. I wasn't even trying to be an artist. I was writing dope, like some crazy things. It was different. I knew I had something different. So we was, my man Chris Flames was doing the production. Um, he had, he had our produced on, for like Ludacris and Jay Z. But he was, he went to school with my little brother. So like he up, he working at the radio station. He uh, was working on Jock's album. It's on Jock's first album. At one time he was working on Jock's album. I had no role that hood figure like that. And I, I was trying to, he was, he was, he was like, man, this would be good for boys in the hood. I'm like, man, perfect. Let's let's finish it up and make it, you know, tighten it up and make it for boys in the hood. You know, he went and pitched it. And uh, you know, it wasn't uh it wasn't meant for them. It was meant for me. I didn't know it. Um block pretty much, you know. Pushed me into the door and made me stand on it. Like, hey man, you gonna rap and you gonna stand on it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You good? Like, you know, I'm really thankful. You know what I'm saying? I'm thankful. You know, you never know how much impact you have on other people's lives. You know what I'm saying? You know, the way he impacted my life. I wish, you know what I'm saying? If you could take all the people that come and talk to me about how my music, like, I wish I could hand y'all, like, it ain't me, it's bigger than me, it's us. Mm-hmm. As a whole, you know what I'm saying? And I, I get what hip hop is. Hip hop, can it, it, it can't be, it can't be taken from us. Hip hop is a, it's a, it's a bridge, it's a way up and a way out. Nah, absolutely it is. Um... And it's just interesting to me because Block was Block when you met him. I mean, th- th- this is a guy who worked with uh, Rick Ross um, out the gate, worked with Nooney and, and uh, Sierra, worked on that first project. You know, Block, he, he worked with Trick Daddy down in Miami. That TLC album, he's a Block, Block been a part of a lot of huge stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yes, a lot of huge stuff. So how how did you even get close to him? Because at that time, and, and when you met him, was Boys in the Hood already put together? Because I know you came in with the hood hood nigga record, but yeah, were they always a um were they already a group by the time that you came into the scene? Yeah, yeah, it was already a group. Um, it was already a group. Flame gave uh that record to block at uh Young Jock. I want to say album release party, his first album release party, and um, he hit me the next morning. I don't, I don't know if him and uh, him and Puff listened to it. I don't know what happened. He, I know he hit me. He was like, "Man, just come to the studio." I'm like, what you trying to do with the record? I'm like, I'm trying to sell it. I'm, I'm trying, to, definitely trying. To, y'all got the money over here. I'm trying to sell it. What you, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> No, when he was like, "Man, these niggas ain't finna rap, yo. They they not finna rap, rap. They they write their own stuff, and and uh, yeah, they ain't finna do that. So, what you want to do with it? I don't know. I'm trying to sell it. So, man, how, can't ain't nobody gonna be able to rap this like you rap, like your your, your voice. I just, what they call you? <laughs> like Zo, call you Gorilla Zo. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. So, Block named you? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't even know that. And and, and it's also crazy that you was just trying to sell a record. You didn't even come to him as a rapper like Sami. You like, yo, I'm just trying to get some money. I got a record here. Give it to your crew. And and he's the one who saw the vision for you to 
rap on that record and be like, yo, this thing sound crazy as it is. You need to spit it. Yep, yep, most definitely. All right, man, I can't, I, I, I'm definitely now, I, I'm not ready for this. Oh, this ain't me. I can't, I ain't no rapper. Cause I had my idea of what, you know, what it took to be a rapper. My own personal, you know, idea and it wasn't it wasn't that but I, I i definitely was it was a lot of stuff um what you would call uh arts development with me mm -hmm. a lot of arts development a lot of uh a lot of teaching you know what i'm saying from great ones you know what i'm saying a lot of teaching and that's because what nobody say when you're talking about a profession that you know it is it's it's, it's um it's art and art is art, but there, there are art museums. There's levels of art. There's ways that art is sold. And there's way. So we, so it, you had, I had to be to play in the big leagues. I had to be ready. No matter how I got, well, sometimes they threw me in the fire. Sometimes I sit down with media training. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, all of that, all that plays a part. And I, I, that's very important. Everybody, everybody that, you know, every everything and everybody is important. You know, what I'm saying? the success of uh, uh, an artist, a song, a label, it takes a lot of energy. You know what I'm saying? It uh, does. It does. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, Feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.